Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to try and explain you the basics of hexagon offense and flexagon defense so you have an idea of what these strategies are all about. So starting with flexagon defense or flex, the idea is that defenders use more teamwork downfield. So they'll be communicating more so that they can switch easier and when the opponents stack up then they'll surround that stack. They need to be more aware of everybody on the field and able to communicate very quickly with their teammates. So you can be playing flex and you can be marking somebody one to one and they're in space and that's all fine. But then if your player joins a stack, you don't want to just carry on marking them one to one. They're in a stack, you've got other teammates nearby. You want to connect with those teammates so that then you surround that stack, make a ring around them so that then you're marking everybody in the stack, or any of them that come your direction. So once you and your teammates are in position surrounding the stack, then you need to be super aware of any player that's moving. If they move towards you, you have to mark them one to one until they return back to the stack, or until they cross over with a teammate. So when somebody cuts out of the stack and you mark them one to one, then a gap has opened up in the surrounding setup. So your teammates need to be super aware so that they can then close that gap, be ready for the next cut. Another big part of flexigan defense is active switching. So we know what switching is, where two players run past each other like that, and instead of the defense following them and crossing over, they get close, they call switch, and then they go back to where they were, marking those players that come out with them. It means they have to run less distance and everybody's covered. It's good. In flex, the defenders want to switch. So when they're playing defense, they have their head up, they're looking around all the time, they're talking, and as soon as there's an opportunity to switch, then they switch early and they switch quickly. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. In this demo, we have a vertical stack and we have players cutting out. They get picked up marked one to one. As they get less and less players in the stack, you see the defenders close in until you're just left with one versus one in the middle. In this footage from an indoor game, you can see the defenders all set up surrounding and then as the players cut, they get picked up one to one. And in the end, there's a switch to get a block. And in this demo from outdoors against Clapham, the defense are hiding the flex, but they switch as soon as the players start to cut. The flexigan defense is all about communication, awareness, and working together as a team. Now let's talk about hexagon offense. The basic idea with hex is that you spread out and you move the disc quickly. Hex is a set of principles and guidelines which leads you to play offense in a very different style to what's normal. Normally in Ultimate you have handlers and cutters. The cutters cut, they catch the disc, they look downfield for three or five seconds, and then they turn and reset the disc to a handler. This is nothing like Hex at all. With Hex you want to move the disc quickly, so after catching you want to make a pass within one or two seconds, and all your teammates are around you providing options for you to pass to. On the website, you can find something called the Hex Movement Decision Tree, which is a guide to exactly what you should look to do when you have the disc in your hands and when you don't have the disc in your hands. When you have it in your hands, the first thing is take the open pass that's in front of you. So you catch it, if someone's open in front of you, you pass them a disc. We know this is a good thing from traditional Ultimate where you have a handler, they throw to a cutter, the cutter's running towards the handler, the handler can see the whole rest of the downfield, so it makes sense that the cutter throws to the handler, the handler can then catch and they're still seeing downfield and they know where the next pass is already. That keeps the disc moving nice and quickly. In Hex it's a similar thing, but without the idea of handlers and cutters, every player who catches the disc should just throw to the person that's open in front of them. If there's nobody immediately open in front of them, then they should turn and face the center of the space so they can see all of their players and throw to anyone that's open. Because of the way the space works, you don't really have a reset in Hex. So when you turn and look at all of your players, you're looking at all of your players and you're throwing to anyone that's free, even if you throw backwards after one second. The idea is that you keep that disc moving. So once you throw, you should follow your pass, right? So as soon as the disc leaves your hand, your aim is to get the disc back in your hands. So this means that throw and go technique is very important. Being able to accelerate out of your throws means that you're able to get free very quickly and you're able to offer a return pass for the next catcher. These repeated give go moves or dribbling works really well in hex because all the players are spread out in these spaces. When you play stack, everyone bunches together 
and you have big spaces on the field which you attack with big cuts when you play hex everybody spreads out so everybody's connected with some spacing in between them the spaces are smaller but there's a lot more options and a lot more options for quick passes when you play hex well the disc doesn't stop moving let's have a look at an example this team from new zealand is playing hexagon offense really well in their semi-final you can see how they're taking all the open passes they're keeping the disc moving they're throwing to people as soon as they're free and it's really hard for the defense to do anything about it instead of holding onto the disc and looking downfield they're just taking the next open pass keeping the disc moving and it creates lots of options for the offense leading to a nice score both of these strategies are really effective and they're really good fun when you're playing defense it's really cool to just not be alone and to be chatting to your teammates as you're playing d when you're playing offense it's really good fun when the disc is moving around quickly and there's loads of options to get good at both these strategies requires different training to traditional ultimate so we've created a whole load of training drills and videos for you to check out have a look through the website sign up to our patreon so that you can access them all and i hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you again soon